welcome back to the Ams Family Mystery Mansion. This is part one to a new update, although it's going to be a little bit interesting as far as when it comes side project. You probably read the description of this or seen the title and you pretty much know what is coming up, but we're not going to be talking about that just yet. That's because there was actually an update that hit with the game before this one came up in July. Yeah, that's right, they had a level update before that type of stuff there. And before we go into looking at the video on that, um, here is something interesting. A picture of uh, the advertising of the 4th of July that happened and the little pack that came in with there. But, I digress, let's go ahead and talk about this new level that has just reached into the game, which unfortunately I won't be able to look at this time around because I just recently completed the main stay events, you know, like when it first started. And now, we're at the, uh, we're, at, we're at the ones that they got added during, in the beginning of January, so yeah, think about that. But, I digress, here is the things in question. So, uh, this is interesting. Show your cooking skills to our beloved Adam's family. We got an update that's actually a level progression, which I won't be able to do because I'm so far behind. But that's to be expected. It's actually nice to see they kind of show an update like this, but I digress. Are you ready for the yummiest episode ever? Well, eventually we're gonna go do it, but not now. Episode 23 is here and the whole family excited for the next month's Adam's Family Reunion. That's a hint, by the way, for what's gonna come. So, Pugsley and Wednesdays are helping Morticia to prepare new dishes for the Adams family. Get ready to unlock new area, the bake, the back kitchen. I'm sorry, I was gonna say the bake kitchen, but I can't read. Back kitchen. Check the new content. Three new outfits such as the Chef Morticia and Shoe Chef Wednesday. No Pugsley, unfortunately, despite him being right here. Ten new decorations such as the small refrigerator, electric oven, and poison berry bush. Three new animations such as baking cookies, search for critters, which is right there. Four new items to collect such as the critters and the balanced breakfast. And if you're curious, this is the item in question. It's, it's basic, but simplistic right there. But I have a feeling that there's something around the corner. So I probably will come back if ever. Because, uh, like I said, there's not much to say with this content update since I can't really show much of this update for now. We'll see that later on in the future, maybe. So yes, if you're curious, here is the uh, patch notes for this, basically talking about the added new level. It's interesting that this happened though, because I didn't even expect they were going to do another update, but uh, sure enough they did. And uh, here are some pictures to kind of keep you busy with what's the new stuff they kind of added in here, as far as this update goes. But I digress. But uh, yeah, that's it for now. Let's jump into the gameplay and see how much I can get done before the actual level starts in. So let's just do that right now. So we're back in the mansion after the crow update. And uh, yeah, as you can tell, I was away for a little bit because, you know, after an event is done, there's not much you can do. It was taking place back in the 7th of July, by the way. So we're back there. So now, let's see this. Calvo's here. Yes, say hello to him. And he's offering me something for Pugsley, which is, uh, I think, the Mazooka uh, costume. You know, this is also going to be the last um, update before we move on to actually better um, size graphics as far as things go. Because this is going to be, the next update is going to be the one where I updated the phone because that was in August 2020, so this was in the old phone. So we're going to be off that soon. As I slowly catch up to what we've missed. But yes, interesting indeed. So we got that going on here. And we're getting closer to finishing this. So, we got that done. Clicking on some stuff. Waiting around. They added a bed over here, but we can't really do anything over there. It's This has been unlocked. But this is the new area that got unlocked here. The back kitchen. And unfortunately, I won't be able to do anything think because there are two other ones that are ahead of um, the back kitchen so yeah that's gonna be interesting once we get to there but let's slowly but surely progressing through this game as far as adding levels go so there's that and uh, yeah all right cool 
Right, so there's not much to talk about as of yet, especially since I'm trying to keep it in the topic of this game. I know it's been a few years since this came out, so it's kind of looking back and progressing, but I'm still trying to do it as if this is happening live, if that makes sense. So anything that's happening currently right now of this recording, it would make it dated if I were to talk about it. Doesn't it make sense? Because there was some stuff coming up in news that happened, but I can't say anything about that because then they'd be like, ah, oh, okay, so this is like in the year future. Ooh, spooky, I'm from the future. This was recorded back in the past. You know, when uh, the unnamed pandemic happened. But uh, yeah, so fun stuff indeed. But we got some stuff going on here. And yeah, as you can see, um, not much else as far as things got added, but anyways, we go and look into Morticia. As you can see, there's a new costume for her, uh, you know, because of leveling up and all that stuff, and there's still that Halloween thing I have not gotten, but I will get in the future, um, because we have introduced Needleworth into the game, so there's that. We also got something for Wednesday, and I think Pugsley also has a new one, which is, uh, Chef, and you do need these costumes in order to continue. So I'm just looking at costumes to make sure if there's anything else that's new. But no, I think it's just Wednesday and whatnot. And oh, look at that! Hey, it's that costume from the witch thing I've never gotten. And uh, the Halloween thing. And uh, sure enough, you know what? I got it. <laughs> yep, I ended up getting it because I like to complete everything. I'm not 100% sure what happened back then when I didn't get able to get this. I think it was because of limitations or whatnot. But, oh yeah, no, it was because you were only getting it through the boxes, which was kind of ridiculous. But yeah, I finally got it. It's a nice little costume. It's interesting that this was the first kind of update to hit the game, and it wasn't really even an update per se. It was just like, ah, it's a thing that happened. And uh, sure enough, oh, and by the way. Yeah, so the level system we're done and completed, but we won't be able to go into the new update that was released earlier this year in January in the Itch Room until I've completed um, getting the progression. So yeah, we can't get to 18 just yet because 17 is done. And as you can see, we've unlocked this here, which was advertised before from Calvo. But now we have two new quest animations. Which one's this one? which unfortunately is being blocked by um, Wednesday's Bed. I'm, I'm believing this is called Wednesday's Bed, but anyways, let's go ahead and let's take a look into this. So this is just Pugsley eating a lollipop. So this is a way to get the lollipop without having to do much of anything. So, yeah, if you're wanting that, instead of going to the kitchen, there's that. Also, we've opened our last box, which means... <laughs> we've gotten it done and we got everything, which means congratulations, everybody. We've now reached the new womb, which is level 18, which comes with the pirate pack. And this is interesting because we're going to go into this next level, which is talking about, uh, which is actually going to bring Parker into the family. So she's going to be a permanent member of the group, if that makes sense. So, yeah. So this game, when it first launched back in 2019, only had 17 levels. And then in the beginning of January, they introduced level 18, which we've kind of looked at during the Valentine's Day update. Anyways. Wednesday, darling, you've been spending a lot of time with Parker, haven't you? I guess so, Mother. Is that a problem? No, not at all. <laughs> In fact, I think we should initiate her into our family. Speaking of which, where has our initiation costume gotten to? Last time I saw it, it was in its room. Let's go look. Adam's Invitation Rites. Unlock its room and unveil the wardrobe. Yeah, so this is the new area that just got added to the game. Or, I mean, back in January. The first official upgrade system to the leveling thing. And, uh, yeah, interesting. It's room. <laughs> well, I mean, it's it's wardrobe room because it's room has already been unlocked when we got it himself into the family. But, yeah, in this story, we're going to be having Parker become an Adams because, as you know, she's in the mansion and she'd been hanging around for such a while that she might as well become part of the group does that make sense oh and by the way here's an animation with um pugsley in his pirate costume which i believe we unlocked before but we couldn't do his animations because we didn't get um the right level and if you wanted to know basically throws the bomb and um 
you know, it's just a quick little animation. Of course, this has been kind of whatever, but eh, it happens. Gomez has a new quest, by the way, and, uh, well, we can unlock this. I'm not sure exactly why. This is going to be for a costume in the future. But yeah, we need to be level 20 in order to get that because that's going to be talking about a new, um, a, one of the newer things that got added to the game. Because again, they've updated a lot of systems in place in each of these games. Here's another one. We get to unlock this costume, which I believe you can't do anything up because you need level 19. And everything else can't be done just yet because everything needs rubies, which we are not going to be spending because I'm that kind of greedy in that sense. Also, we can unlock this, which is another costume for her. And this unlocks a quest, a quest when we get to level 20. So again, most of these things that are newish to the game, um, we won't be able to do until later on. This is another one, so we got this one, but again, we can't do his because then we're going to get to level 19 in order for his quest to come up. So that's going to be the next one we're going to look into. And there's not another quest for her grandma just yet. So we get to see, I'm just looking at seeing if there's anything I can unlock because, you know, there's some costumes here. And there's one for 19, but that won't be for a little while. And yeah, we need rubies, but it's not too bad for a price as far as uh, it being a legendary costume. So there's that. But yeah, we got some things going on here. And I believe, they, yeah, he has a new thing here, which is uh, top fashion, I believe, which I'm going to be showing off. So let's just see how that looks. So yeah, so this is how it looks. Basically, he's kind of in this weird cowboy pirate getup. I guess because this is going to be adding to the new wardrobe system that's been added. And uh, there's a there's a reason for the whole piratey thing and weird costumes that were in the beginning of the game. Back in when we did the Valentine's Day update earlier this year of 2020. And then of course she has this a pajama outfit but we need the pajama costume in order for that to take place. So that's going to be a little while. Because this requires rubies unfortunately. But yeah Parker is still needing some costumes but that's okay kitty also has a costume but that's going to be until level 22 so we got some stuff there to kind of keep in mind and of course thing doesn't have anything just yet so anyways he's done so let's take a look at his other last quest that got added which is right here the nuclear explosion so this is how it looks basically does that and it's basically just throwing firecrackers which is interesting yeah, when you hear like that kind of explosion, you would think, oh, like an actual bomb, but no, you get the bomb. But anyways, the infinite wardrobe is going to be unlocked, so it's going to be a little while for that to kind of come through. But yeah, as you can see, while we were waiting for the update to happen, I did kind of progress through the story, so we got that going on. So yeah, it'll be interesting once you kind of get further into the idea. And of course, we need this in order to unlock one of his quests, uh, his animations, I should say. Which unfortunately we can't do because we need his costume, which I believe, well, we just unlocked. Oh, okay. I guess I must have unlocked this earlier or something happened. I I don't think I misplaced anything. Huh. Again, this has been so long, so I don't even realize. I might have unlocked this before, but I didn't, um, was able to do anything because, you know, we had to get up to this level, so... Yeah, I do apologize on that if that was the case, but eh, you know, things happen. But now we're going to take a look into Gomez's quest or animation here that unlocks another piece of the new, um, not really puzzle, I should say, but more like added to the um, craftables, which is going to be him just playing around with the wheel, which we're going to see right here. So there you go, him just kind of pretending he's turning the wheel, and he's just like, pretending he's like, running this captain ship if that makes sense so we got that going on there so anyways we got that done let's continue on with the quest because we should be done with the wardrobe now what's an instigation costume anyway initiation dear boy it's what all new members wear to become part of the family we have a more important question to solve i've searched its room from top to bottom and the costume is missing <laughs> Cousin It, what have you done with the costume? For shame, naughty boy. I couldn't find the initiation costume, but I did find this tattered note. 
It seems the last person to wear the outfit was Great Grandfather Pegleg and the Pirate. Please, please, please tell me there's a pirate map associated with this somehow! There's a piece of parchment here. It could be part of the map to find the costume. We've got to find more pieces. Pegleg's notes. Place the Goldfield treasure chest and, uh... There's also something else we need to get. But yes, uh, so this is their kind of excuse with the pirate stuff, is because the last guy who used the initiation costume was Pegleg. Why did he need to use it? Who knows? Don't, uh, don't ask questions, dear boy. There's no reason to think about that. And then we get, we get some maps. And yeah, we already got that down. And oh, we get the maps through that. So, interesting. So that's how we get the maps. So that, that's good. And yeah, you do need maps in order to get some of the pirate stuff and um, initiation costume. There it is. So we also need these items, which is only available for certain characters to get. So that's why Thing, no, It, and uh, Gomez has stuff that can get that. So we got that going on there. So let's just see how well we go about this, huh? So we got the tailor. So we got another costume with him. So that's interesting. Cool. So we got the turkey outfit, which we're probably going to get because that's another costume I ended up missing out on. And as you can tell, this is another Friday, so another week passed. And if you're curious, this has been going on on the 17th of July. So no update just yet. So we've been going at this for maybe two weeks now. But yeah, I've been kind of slowly progressing, chipping at this. And it's kind of hard because this was also during the time I was doing um, Be Afraid, Be Very Afraid. So yeah, we had some things kind of going on in the background here. But, wouldn't you know it, this would be actually the last time we do anything here. We got the costume from before the Thanksgiving update. And the reason why that is going to be the case... Oh yeah, we're still missing that, by the way. We're going to get it in the future at some point, but don't worry about that. But the reason why we're stopping here is because we actually have finally gotten to our point of destination. Yes, finally, after a few minutes into this video, we're now going to be talking about the Gardening Club. This is the new update that has hit to the game, and it is going to be July's themed update. And there are some interesting things to talk about with this one. Namely, there was a new mechanic that got added to the game. This is when the in tradition of adding something new in the summer seems to be a thing. And this time, it's actually a match 3 mechanic minigame. Yes, it's actually quite interesting. And interesting so much so that I've actually decided to record the um, help to guide of how to do this. And we're going to take a look into this more into the game. But let's go ahead and dive into a recorded message from me. We're talking about what has been going on in the Q&A. FAQ section of the video. So let's see how we play this new mechanic. Hello, welcome back. We are here in the Atoms to talk about a new feature that's come in July. That being the gardening event, the AKA Lily um, Garden. <laughs> Lily's Garden event. <laughs> the game's that's three puzzles. But yeah, let's talk about the how do I unplay the game. So first of all, how do you unlock the puzzle game? So basically, once you reach level 4, if there's an active event, uh, Petrunia Rosewater, which I'll talk more about uh, in a minute because of this event introduces her, the gardener visitor will arrive to your mansion. So this will be her right here. Once she arrives, she will stay in front of the mansion until the event ends. You can play puzzle levels and as often as you want, as long as you have lives available. I'll talk about that in a minute. Live system. To play puzzle levels, you'll need lives. You start the event with five lives and lose one each time you fall, fail or quit a level without completing it. Now, here's something interesting. If you come into the event area, like if you come in here and you don't move anything and you decide to leave, you will not lose a life. It's only once you make a move, then it counts as, a, as you um, losing a life. But don't worry. Lives regenerate every 24 hours. You can see how much you have until your next life. And how men, main, how main, I think you mean many. Hold on. There you go. And how many you have available at the top left corner. There, I, say, I saved your thing. So basically, we're talking about this right here. The good news is that as long as you beat the level, you won't lose a life, so you can keep playing. Interesting, so this is during the Halloween event, so, uh. 
Another. Okay. Uh, life system. To play puzzles, levels, you'll need lives. To start the event, li wait, hold on. Did I do that already? Yeah, yeah, okay, my bad. Infinite lives. The infinite live pack gives you unlimited require retries of levels. You can fail at levels and quit and enter again as much as you want. No need to wait for your lives to refill. As a bonus, you'll get a bunch of limited items with the pack. Yeah. So now, this game introduced this system. So let me explain what this is. You know how in the special bonus packs that you had to buy the golden pass plus two special um, special bundles? Well, now you have to buy the bundles, this Infinity Life pack, and the special uh, seasonal bundle. So this basically takes the cheaper option, unfortunately. So it's the middle part of the cost. So yeah, have fun with that. How to play. <laughs> Here we go. So it kind of, I'll go more in depth in there to talk about it once we get there. But anyways, the long story of it is once you enter puzzle level, you'll be presented with a goal to complete the level uh, requirements. It could be ranking a certain amount of points or destroying a certain amount of specific pieces. Then you'll have to swap pieces to form combinations of three, four or five pieces of the same colors. Combination of four or five will give you special pieces called explosives. When combined with other pieces of the same color, the explosions burst into different patterns that will help you clear more paths towards achievement. So anyway, if you play these match uh, three games like Lily's Garden, then you probably get a good idea of how this would go. But uh, yeah, it just gives you a, a short little how that goes. I'll go more in depth when we get into the game here. But now let's talk about the types of pieces. There's two main types of pieces. The basic pieces, which is the uh gerbera the orange piece for forget me not blue piece yellow lily yellow pieces inflorescence purple piece mushroom red piece fly trap green piece so those are that explosives were it's weird the purple one looks like a bean i digress Firecrackers, formed by combining four pieces of the same color in a straight line. When matched with other pieces of the same color, it will burst clear a straight line vertically or horizontally. Combined with another firecracker of any color to trip a double line. So, how they shape vertically or horizontally, it depends on which way you swipe in order to complete the four-way. So, for example, if I did up or down in order to complete a four-way, it's going to be horizontally or vertically but if i do it left and right it'll be horizontally all right bombs bomb you want it it's yours link as long as you have enough rubies oh man i have a lot of rubies and that's what they call it rubies <laughs> oh memeage uh might as well this is gonna be a meme uh event all right um formed by creating an l or t shape with five pieces of the same color when match with other pieces of the same color it will burst destroying all pieces around it combine it with another bomb of any color to create a bigger explosion combine it with a firecracker to trigger a free line walk clear vertical and horizontal all right crystal ball this is interesting Formed by combining five pieces of the same color in a straight line, it can be matched with any other piece adjusted to it. So the crystal ball is a very unique and desirable item because if you match this with a normal piece, it destroys all pieces of the same color on the board. If you do it to a firecracker, transform all pieces of the color of the firecracker into firecrackers and then have them launch. Bombs. Transform all the pieces of the color of the bombs into bombs and the most OP of them all, Crystal Ball, destroy the whole board. So if your objection is to get something off or get um, complete a certain goal because they seem to love those, then what will happen is if you can get both of them together, you win the game. So uh, yeah, that's about it for that. So that gives you a rough skinny of how they scream how they scream how they explain how to play through this so now that you know uh have some fun with what is to come so i shall see you in 
uh, continuation of this. So uh, back to um, myself. And as always, when we kind of come through this, there was an email that was sent to us that talks about this Gardening Club update, so let's take a look into that. Ha <laughs> ha, here we go. Let's win the Gardening Club contest, Morticia. The Gardening Club event has just arrived. And I have a feeling that there's a reason why for that, and I'm going to show off right now. Let's down here. A brand new challenge is here. That's right. We're going full uh, Lily's Garden here, and uh, whatever you call it, because we got match three puzzles. Yeah, baby, there it is. I can't wait to play it. Oh, God. Oh, man, I hope it's not as meme-worthy as it is, but uh, maybe it'll be a new feature. We'll see. All right. Mm -mm. We all know how much Morticia loves her garden, and what a better way to show her support than helping her win the Gardening Club monthly contest. We're not only bringing an exclusive event, but we're presenting you the match three mini game to get even to get event points and limited rewards. Be sure to check it out just to talk to our new special visitor, Petunia Rosewater, when she arrives at the mansion. Are you ready for victory? Oh, I sure hope I am. All right, well, there's a preview of um, Parker's animation, which is her doing this, so that's interesting. Anyways, check the new content. The Match 3 minigame. Get event points and limited rewards. One new seasonal cookie box with rewards from the Gardening Club. Nine new seasonal outfits such as the Gardening Club Morticia, Dinosaur It, and Gardening Outfit Gomez. Ten new decorations such as the Flower Rack Spider Tarantula. A terrarium. My bad, I can't say. This, it, that's a double standard, but it's a terrarium. God, I assume that meant tarantula. I digress. And the flora circle, which I guess that's what this is here. Eight new animations such as the matching flowers, digging, and magic powers. Eight new items to collect such as the gar... the gur... gur... Bur, 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 the gur... Bur, bur. Okay, sure. Box of flowers and shovel. Why can't you be easy words like this? What? What? Why you need to be this? A girl, bur, bur, bur. I don't know. I don't know gardening. I'm. I'm. I. I sleep in the underground like curly. I don't even know what a curly is unless you've seen my other main game. But I digress. Have fun with all the cookiness and dark humor from our beloved family in this new event. And of course, we got pissed off Morticia, and we got Wednesday here. And here's the preview of what the mansion looks like in game. So you get a sneak peek at that and enjoy that little spectacle. But yeah, I digress. Anyways, that's it for now. So let's just jump back into the game again because this part one is so exciting. Man, two two emails in one. That's whew, wow. So much content. And of course, here's the patch notes talking about the gameplay of this update and what to expect and anything more. I should mention this time around, uh, the update actually has Morticia on front and center instead of Wednesday. And this is because this is a more Morticia-centered update, which is interesting. But yeah, now you gotta expect that, but there you go. Anyways, we're gonna jump into the game. This is taking place on the 21st of... January. Uh, not January, July. Sorry, wrong uh, month. But yeah, slow down time here. We finally got a welcome back screen because it's been a little while. We've put the update on, so we're just waiting for the update to finally hit into the game. So yeah, we got some things to kind of do here. Some things are broken. What can you expect? Kovo's kind of coming in here slowly but surely, so don't mind him. And um, yeah, some interesting rubies. Oh god, I'm so sorry. Every time to make something like this seems like it's being boring, but it's not. I, I swear to you, it's not boring. Oh god, what? Oh. <laughs> I was wondering what was going on there because it was flashing there for a second, but for some reason some errors were going on, so some silliness has been going on over there, so let's not do that. And we got something for the clown outfit for Parker. We have a lot of stuff here, so you know what, why not get some clown outfit for Parker, so let's redeem. You're welcome, Cavo. Thank you very much. So, we got that going on here, and it'll be a little while before we actually get the update itself, and when we finally do, we'll talk about it, and we take a look into this new mechanic, which, after talking and reviewing, um, actually doing a poll of this, um, people are wanting to see my gameplay of it, so I do apologize on that. So, for the next few updates, we're going to be experiencing that, and uh, we're not going to slow down, so 
Oh boy, you're going to have to talk through gameplay, so that's going to be somewhat interesting. But yeah, so now we have this, which is to do this new um, thing. New weapon that just got unlocked, so that was part of the new add-on to help, I guess. I'm not sure why exactly, but yeah, we're going to have Parker do something here for now so she can get us some materials so we can get the new axe that is being requested in order to get some points in order to move on this gameplay but I digress anyways we got this going on here we got Uncle Fester of course you can't go wrong with him and uh, yeah so we're gonna just getting some characters to do us some animation tasks so to get us some of the soot or that ash type of thing that's required. I'm not sure what it's called exactly because it's been a little while since we've actually looked into this. But yeah, anyways, we also need this still. And um, I have yet to... I thought I put one down. I guess I have not. I guess I was waiting for cash. So anyways, we're going to put it over here next to this to make sense because this is going to be the only area that needs this. So we're going to put production here. So now we just need some maps. And then we move on from this. So there we go. And, and finally, the update has hit. If you're curious, this was hit the next day, the 22nd. So this is what to expect. And as you can see, there's a new thing on top there, which is uh, talking about our new character, which we'll be talking about. But yeah, anyways, here are some things to look at. So this is the progression bar here. And uh, we got Grandma as our first costume. So that's interesting. So we're going to keep on going from here. Okay, over there. That's somewhat there. Mm -hmm. We got some new up uh, um, items such as, you know, mushrooms and flowers and things of that nature. And also bones because there's this, um, sub, um, there's this B plot with Wednesday and Pugsley looking and finding bones while trying to help their mom in this competition, which we're going to find out why exactly. And this is where the whole gardening club gets introduced because this becomes part of the game moving forward and we get to see this lovely character by the name of uh, well I won't spoil it just yet because she'll introduce herself so we'll go from there and yes we got some costumes for the couch which is nice which also means we got something for the stairs so well, I'm sorry I meant stairs as well as the couch or the the armchair you know there there it goes the chair not the sofa all right Anyways, here are some new care things we need: flowers, mushrooms, shovels, the um, that the gardening thing, and of course this flower box, and then this certificate. And here is the new things here: our grand prize is a Morticia costume, but we have the golden past, of course, that comes with that. And something interesting, by the way. Oh, we br yeah, and by the way, we bring back to this here, which is the exclusive costumes instead of anything else. But, you know, that's not to be expected. It's been going on for a little while. But yeah, match three pass. Play all levels to you can obtain these and more. So you unlock those in the mission before, but in order to unlock them, you have to get the pass in order to get all of them at once. And this is the only premium pack that kind of came with this update, so you get some of this stuff here. And, of course, they do these sneaky things where some of these items that characters can do and add animations for, you need the bundles. So, very sneaky, Pixel. Very sneaky indeed. Also, this update's pretty short. I think it was for 16 days. So, yeah. Normally, that's like less than seven weeks. That's less than three weeks. So, I get it because it started very late. I get that. But, uh... Oh boy, that that is uh, that is going to be pretty hard to come by. So let's see how this goes about. But uh, yeah, anyways. What came in the mail, darling? I hope it's not a letter from an admirer. It's even more delicious than that, Gomez. The gardening club is having a contest. I need to start preparing. There's no way I'm going to lose to Petunia Rosewater. <sighs> Ah, your rival. Need any help? A discreet poisoning? A faithful gardening accident? I only need your help bringing life from the dead. By which I mean composting. 
Gardening contest. Place the compost bin, obtain some that, and learn about the new mechanic, which is the um, match three game. Yes, this is interesting. Remember when I talked about there was going to be a meme that got introduced? Well, if you've seen stuff like Lily's Garden and all the bowl, like um, the Escape series, you know, Home Escape, Garden Escape, <laughs> this that's this type of game. It's a match three game. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, we didn't get any cringe-worthy Adams com commercials because, you know, Pixel has some sort of integrity. They're not like, um, how Lily's Garden, where they, like, where their whole money is going through these commercials that have nothing to do with the game at all. Oh, by the way, there's a crow. Interesting. Huh. Cool. Anyways, <laughs> uh, people who are watching this in the future will know that there's going to be a joke with that, but I won't add that just yet. I'll do that in... Uh, near future, I think. But, uh, yeah. Anyways. Right! So, Gardening Club. The... What can I say about it? It's interesting when it first got introduced how the mechanic worked, but then they changed it slightly to make it work better. Does that make sense? I, I guess it will make sense later on. You'll see what I mean. But, you know, it's it's whatever. It works. But yeah, we got ourselves the compost bin because we started off in level 1. It'll be interesting to see how well this does, but yeah. Oof. That's a very short time frame to do this game, but hopefully the match 3 might help us a bit. But we'll see what ends up happening. Again, it's not really ideal to do something for like 2 weeks. But, um, hey, I guess because of this update being so big with this new kind of mechanic it's I guess required we'll see but yeah we're gonna fill up that new room over there that we've unlocked next to the potions I guess that's gonna be where all the interesting items are gonna go so now we're just looking at to see what new costumes are added there's something for Fester so that's what he looks like there get a good idea with that interesting it would be interesting that we hear commentary, but if I were to do that with this old phone, it would probably break. So, yeah. We've got Lurch with his gardening costume, which is uh, very cute for a big man like him. we got uh, some nice costume for it, being a gardening type himself. Uh, Parker has something. And, uh, yes, she also needs that item that's in the pack, unfortunately. So that's the kind of mm in the jib. We got something interesting for Kitty, which is wearing a dinosaur bone, because he can't really wear a whole lot. I think Gale also got that, and also probably got inspired from Thing, because he's wearing a bone as well, to kind of fit with this mood. And just to prove my point with this phone, which I'm kind of glad I no longer have anymore, um, for some reason it kind of glitches out, because once, oh and this is the, the prize for the furniture skin, which is the stairs, but what I mean by this is that at some point, um, just right about mm, now, yeah, so now you're hearing my music that I've added into the game and no uh, audio because the game glitched and now the sound's gone. So yeah, complete silence for this stuff besides the music and whatnot, which sucks. But hey, you know what? That's just what happens, right? It's what happens indeed, but we'll learn to live with it because of this glitchy mess. But hey, whatever, right? It will go on. But anyways, let's go ahead and just look through this next area here to see what the mansion looks like. And this is what it looks like, if you're curious. Very nice. You get to finally see, we've got some bones here. we got the carpet. we got interesting mechanic for... Morticia, something for Gomez. We got Kitty doing his digging, which is going to be reused, by the way. We got him digging a hole. We got Grandma doing something here. We got Thing playing around like a seesaw with the shovel. Yep, we're just looking at that. It'll be interesting to see the other characters pass me, but, uh, you know, you do you. We're just taking a slow look at everything, <laughs> getting the use of everything here. There's a tape, yeah, so got some of this stuff there. So, yeah, let's look over here. Yes, let's zoom in there. Yes, there you go. So that's what it looks like for the gardening stuff. But then we also have other characters, too, you know. Yeah, there's Fester. Yes, we see him. 
blowing his uh, his, his stuff that he does. There's Parker. She does her thing. Yep. Cute indeed. She does the flowers, and unfortunately, you do need that in order for her to do this. So if you don't have this, then uh, too bad. You don't get this animation, unfortunately. We also have um, Thing doing that. Or, sorry, It. I'm sorry. It and Thing. I can't. I can't defies you two. You two look the same to me. <laughs> oh god, that's gonna be bad. I know. I feel so bad at getting their names mixed up. I'm sorry. They both have different names. How, how can I, you know, help myself? But anyways, we're back into the mansion. We get to see this. But anyways, speaking of this new character, it's be interesting to see her come into the game. So sure enough, the next day on the 23rd, she shows up as well as Carvos. Oh yeah, and this got broken, by the way. The sound's back on, by the way, because it's a new clip. So let's see who's this new character. Let's her, let her introduce herself, shall we? Good day. I'm Petunia Rosewater, Morticia's um friend from the gardening club. Yeah, friend. I am yeah, sure you are. I can tell by the state of this mansion that you could use some help. So I'm offering you this chance to earn a reward. I doubt you rise to the occasion, but let's see if you can beat this challenge. Gardening Contest. Petunia Rosewater will appear every day with a match 3 level. Complete the goal before the move runs out, and claim your reward to progress faster in the main event. Tip. Petunia has 4 levels to unlock from the start. So this is Petunia Rosewater, the gardening club um, a friend of Morticia. And, um, as you know, we're gonna go into here, so let's learn about this. How to play. Match three flowers of the same color to clear them. Match four or five flowers in a differing format to create special explosives. Combine explosives by switching them with each other for additional effects. Tip. Pay attention to where the pieces will fall. So, for a lot of us, this is the first time we got to look into this. This match three mechanic. Yes. We get to play puzzles. Oh, <laughs> oh boy! I'm I'm feeling the the cringe of the uh, Lily's Garden ad playing in the background. Looking at this, you had to make a gardening, huh? Couldn't do anything else. So we got like weird jelly bean looking flowers. We got a cabbage looking plant. We got orange flowers. We got red mushrooms and blue flowers. And, uh, yeah, so it's interesting to see this type of stuff here. And, um, there is actually going to be two different versions where this actually gets changed as far as the background stuff goes. But when we do, we're going to look into that in the future. Um, but yeah, I digress. But, uh, that's it there. Um, alright, so we got that going on here. So we got our first little background and we did our first little challenge, which is actually not that bad. But, anyways, you should probably be done with the quest, so let's continue. Are you sure you don't want us to take out Petunia, Mother? My crossbow is ready. The only weapons we need are shovels and wheelbarrows, Wednesday. My god, she looks disgusted. It's probably because of the nasty flower she's carrying in the basket. <laughs> we'll help you, Tish. No Adams will lose to someone named Petunia. Well, yes, but also you do have a, a cousin with the name Petunia, so kind of awkward. But let's all ignore that, because Petunia is not in the game just yet. Well, I mean, the Aunt Petunia. <laughs> it does exist in the lore, but uh, well, we don't know that for sure. But uh, yeah, kind of awkward. We got two Petunias, but uh, yeah, Rosewater. Man, how, how very cliche of a name for someone who's into gardens. Like, uh, you imagine if she had that name and she didn't like gardening. She liked doing motorcycles or something. The Gardening Club prized colorful flowers above all else. As much as I distest such things, I must do what necessary to win. Mom, this kind of conventional gardening is tearing you up inside, isn't it? Pugsley can tell, just by the look of her mom's face. Just a little bit, Pugsley. But I will do what needs to be done. Let's get to digging. Alright, plant a seed. Obtain these flowers, which we've seen before, which means we need to get some of that. Some buttons, because we need to turn it blue, and then normal flowers to make it red, because, you know, we can't... For God forbid we can use roses. 
<laughs> you know, roses are easy to get, but nah, we can't use that. We're going to use the other thing, though, you know, the essence that comes from uh, our, our dear friend Cleopatra. But, uh, you know, I digress. But, yeah, I mean, Pugsy looks stupid with his um, outfit, by the way. But, uh, you know what? I bought it, so I might as well get to use it, man. Anyways, let's continue on with some more of the gardening stuff. So, yeah, gardening stuff. Yay, puzzles. Do this more. And, um... When the game started off, this is what it looked like, so it'll be interesting to kind of go through in the progression and seeing how bad I do these stuff. Now, mind you, because this game just started off with this stuff, um, we get to see how this goes. Also, this was when I was stupid and I didn't realize that you can combine different colored uh, weapons onto each other. So, yeah, I could have I could have done big points, but nope, didn't do that. So this time... Ooh. God, that noise. <laughs> the game did not like that at all with recording it, but, uh, you know, it's whatever. Anyways, yay, we got that going. We got some more stuff to do. Also, when it first came out, I'm going to show this off in this point here. But anyways, let's continue on here. And the, uh, the gardening club stuff. So, when you lose to this game, uh, she'll end up going away and you'll have to continue on the next day. Now, something that they'll change in the future is they'll actually change it so that you can play this anytime, and then when you're done, she goes away, right? As to be expected. But, um, in the past, um, when she, she would just disappear, and which we're actually gonna see, because she's, the uh, first four levels are, like, basically you can have access to, and then she comes back the next day. So that's how that kind of works. But anyways, um, yeah. Let's just see that. Uh, some uh, some things here. I'm just trying to communicate. Because I'm kind of... Uh, well, I digress. I'm going to be looking forward to seeing how Halloween turns out. But we have two more updates to look forward to f before then. Uh, one of them is going to be an annual tradition. But uh, that's going to be later on. We got the flowers to kind of talk about. Can you imagine? This is going to be... This is going to be horrible. <laughs> because for the next few updates this is going to be pushed on to players so i mean they made this so they might as well use it but uh oh boy this this is going to be something to talk about and look forward to while this is going on in the background i can only imagine like you know back in the day looking at this thinking oh like where were my mind what was what was my mind at at this time and now me looking at it and going like my god look at all the possibilities i've kind of done combos but nah um, I was I was a noob. I was a I was baby. I was a baby playing the game. So yeah, there's that. And uh, yeah, we got that going on here. Let it load because God forbid it can't. Uh, finally, there you go. Finally got that. We got some flowers by the way, which is actually needed for the quest. So that's cool. So yeah, that's done. Well, that helps because we need two of each, and then we get some points, flower points. So this is the last level. We need to get 35 points. So this should be interesting. Um, anyways, as uh, things go here, yeah, and then my God, look at the look at the bombs and the stuff. You could have combined them. Oh my God, this is painful. I'm sorry. You guys wanted to see this, so now you're gonna see it. This is how. Oh God, this this looking back in the past. I'm so glad I'm recording these now present because then I get to see how my mind was at the time so I can see how dumb I was back then but uh, yeah this is like this is weird this is like post commentary stuff which is like you know especially when it's taken a few years right it's like looking back at my past and thinking my god well that was how awkward I was back in the day but uh, yeah my god I'm still looking at those bombs and yeah he's still you're still not doing anything with them you can combine them you could combine them. They told you you could do that. Why aren't you doing that? You don't need the yellow bomb with the yellow thing. God. God. <laughs> oh, no. He's not even doing what the game's asking him to. God, I'm an idiot. God, what's wrong with me? Anyways, I'm going to get it just done anyways. So, you know, it's not going to be too bad. But still, this must be painful to watch. It still is to me, like, God, you got, you got all that, and yet I'm not using it at all. Oh my God. Oh, you finally used that. Oh God, ooh. 
God, I am so sorry. But anyways, we're done the four lo levels, which means we're done with Petunia. So this is what happens when you're done with her. This is what she actually says to you. Which is interesting, so let's take a look at what she says, shall we? Well, I must say I'm surprised, but you were probably just lucky. <sighs> we'll come back again tomorrow to see if this performance was a fluke. And yeah, that's it. She's done. So we got that. And then she runs away like the coward that she is. And she's also magical because watch this. Oh, I'm sorry. She just disappeared. She basically summoned a, a row of dead leaves and then she just disappeared out of thin air. So Petunia, she, she looks like she's like supposed to be normal, but no, I don't think so. I think she's a witch. I mean, who? No normal person does that. I know this is the game's logic in order to kind of have them kind of transport in and out of the mansion because the gate, you know, they can't animate that. But, you know, I just have to say, my, my God, <laughs> that's my lore now. She's, she's a witch. I mean, of course, that's why she does these match puzzle games because she's, she's enchants the game because she's, she's that, not, not elite, uh, what's the word? Uh, competitional? No. That's not really it, but I, th I think you guys can get what I'm going with. But anyways, uh, we should be done with something here. Uh, yeah, like that. And we got Grandma, but we don't have her, so, you know. That's to be expected for the next update, so, yeah, looking forward to that. So, yeah, that's it for this update, and I think I've talked on long enough, so I won't keep you here for too long. I shall see you in Part 2 when we go more into the Match 3 puzzles and all that things, and, uh... We'll go from there. Until then, I've been Grim, and I'll see you next time. Until then, what do you feel if this game was like Lily Match? Like, you know, Lily's Garden in the sense of doing the Match 3 mechanic? Do you think they'll have cringy commercials, or do you think that would not fit with the Atoms? I don't know. Leave your, leave your thoughts down below. And this is an odd intro exit, huh? <laughs>